Hi, welcome to this Arco Linux BXFC system. So it's not the minimal version, it's, well, the bigger version, and it has all the applications the way we see it. You build your own ISO the way you want with Arco Linux B scripts. Topic of this video is some fun in theming. But before I do that, let's combine it also with an update, since there is lots of stuff here ready on this machine to be installed. So another tutorial also to include how do you keep rolling on Arch Linux. B, D, doesn't matter, on Arch Linux. Well, there's, there's one command that's going to update everything from the Arch Linux and from Arch Linux, that's update. If that's done, you have to check out if there is anything new, and I've just made a new package, so there is something new, of Arch Linux. Let's look for it, here it is. So Arch Linux bin git is new. This is not going to etc scale, this is scale, this is scale, and config git, yes, this is scale as well. So a lot of things are coming from Arch Linux, and it will say it in the end when it's um, installed. And if you see something like the configuration files have been installed to etc scale, then you know you have to start running the alias scale. Let's take a look at the aliases. So we have made something to make it more easier to do a copy paste. What you what we did uh, do in the past is go to this folder etc slash scale and then copy paste control A, control C, control V to your home directory. So this is just faster. That's why we made the alias in the first place. Here we have these lines. As you see, the files have been installed in etc scale. The files have been installed in etc scale, etc. So these elements, it is just means that we have updated something which is going to be on the ISO if you do a clean install. But if you do a rolling, it's not on your home directory. It's in this specific etc scale thing. So I'm waiting for the final updates and I'll just type scale and that's it. So as uh, far as updating goes or staying rolling, you need to know update and in a few moments time we type scale and then we have one more command and we're up to date. Scale is just this, done. And now we have type also PKSYUA and now everything coming from the AOR, as you see here, everywhere the word AOR is in front of it, and let him do his thing. So he's updating all the rest. In the meantime, we can have some fun. There is a new little script called Arch, and you have to make your terminal a little bit bigger. Remember the tip again, if you have um, on XFCE, you have a window or terminal in this case then, and you press on Alt, not Alt, GR, Alt, and right mouse click, you can make it easier to make it easier to, to resize your window rather than going for these edges and sometimes it's okay and sometimes you miss and then you try again. So Alt, right mouse click, up, 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 and then you can do whatever you want. Arch is a new script and Arco is a new script. So just for, for fun, right? Fun scripts. So, this video was not about updating an old app, it's just extra. This is about having fun with a icon theme. I just found a beautiful picture online, and I think it's called, I just saw, said it in the beginning, I think it was Safiro, Safiro, yeah. So, somebody posted a image, and I said, oh, that's a nice, a nice icon theme, and I would like to share it with you guys, so yes, maybe you like it as well, and make you smarter. You will see that some of the icons are not okay and that's always the case. It's, it's almost almost the case because of applications you like, you install applications and the icon theme did not create an icon for it and, and so on. But we can solve it if you know how. That's why this tutorial is here. So Sapphire icon theme. Remember Sapphire, Sapphire. All right. We go to this button, all settings, appearance, icons, 
all the way down. Just wait till all the icons are loaded and have lots of them installed. So it's really extra, extra uh, well, I don't know, lots. Let's just wait for it to load. In the meantime, let's see if Tryzen is the last one I did. Let's try again. Yep, there we go. There is something missing. This one can go. Nice to know that. Pseudo Pacman minus R. That's an installation file. You're out of here. That's it. Clean ship. So in the meantime, you see there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of icons. And down here is Sapphiro. This is Sapphiro. You hate it, you like it. Um, it's a choice and it depends what theme you have. But as you can see, it's a dark theme here in the categories. And the rest is okay, but maybe this is not to your liking. So then you have to look for another theme. This is, by the way, the look in the settings of XFC, which is also very nice. Konkisen does not have one. So that's one thing you need to fix. Appearance, let's go for an arc. Instead of an arc dark, let's go for an arc or maybe something else. Let's see what we take. Okay, style up. When it's white, it's I think it's better. But then we need still need to fix some of the icons, right? So the tutorial is about understanding how icon themes work and what you can do if you're missing icons. That's why we made this video. So Sapphire looks nice, really, and this is our Tuner manager, all right, control H, control H, this is what we're working on. And now the extras. This one does not have an icon and this one does not have an icon. That's quite normal. Why? Because these are our applications that exist only in Arco Linux. How can an icon builder know what this is? But there are more uh, applications that maybe should change their icons because if it's not created in Sapphire or Sapphire, then it will result to a GNOME icon or a high color icon. And we'll see just um, in, in the video later on, we'll see where these words come from. Like this one, I don't think it's really his one as well. So how to make some of the icons better like this one as well i think that's one that needs to be changed as well remember may maybe first thing is first remember some of these guys have a um, hard-coded path remember the software engineers who say you use user share applications that i can it will never change whatever theme you have and those three guys need to be changed so that's fixed already so some of them the gufc thingy there so that icon is now the icon from Sapphire. So that's set. Let's fix the others. Go to the file system, user, share, icons, all the way down, Sapphire icon theme, index theme, right mouse click, open with Sublime Text. Sublime Text is wonderful in that sense that when you are writing on places where you shouldn't write, I mean protected part of your system then he asks hey are you root and he asks the password and then you can overwrite so very very easy so we do know what we're doing and what happens if an icon is not created by this developer so if the icon is not in here this code says then go and look to the folder gnome go look to the folder Gnome, 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 Gnome. Here it is. If it's not in here, then you go look in the folder high color. High color is a bit further down. And if it's not, if it's not available, then you go to Numix. Numix, Numix, Numix. We've installed it. If it's not installed, it just skips. It doesn't exist. It doesn't care, right? 
Embrace as well. Embrace exists. So, what can you do? You can make him even smarter. Well, first things first. I'm gonna check if I have surf him. I have surf him. If not, yay, surf him. And you install the surf him icons. Okay? It is installed. This means I can tell to the system, forget about GNOME, that's not really compatible and in design. Go to Surfen, and I'm writing it with a capital S, because this is a capital S. Small s will not work. Capital S, sadly, is not a good idea, since it's all circular, and this icon theme is nothing but just, well, all kinds of things. It's colorful, it's uh, shady-like, I mean, I don't know how, the, how you pronounce these colors, but I like the colors. And... Um, so sadly is not an option. Now, choosing GNOME after that, or high color after that, is not an ideal for me either. If anything, if Surfon doesn't have it, then please go first look in Numix. And I don't think even Breeze is better than GNOME. Oops, cancel. I was just want to copy paste and did something else. Like so. So I'm telling him, go to Surf, go to Numix, go to Breeze, go to Gnome. And now, maybe, I was just thinking, maybe I should type in Numix Circle Light as well. So you get these guys. And these guys are not that bad if you have one or two icons missing, that he'll take a round one. It's actually better than the new mix, right? So new mix. Let's see if we write it correctly. New mix dash circle light. So no typos allowed. Circle light. So that's what happens. If an icon is missing, check it out in Surfen. If that icon is missing, check it out in here and else there, else there, else there. Now we can save, but it's not yet finished. So that's that. We don't need this anymore, but, a big but, things will not work. Even if I change, and I'll show you, even if I change my icons, yeah, it takes a while till it loads up, then we can't really change it. We need to tell to the system, to Sapphire icon theme, that it should delete, so two options. Either you delete this thing and it will work or you make a new icon theme cache or maybe do both. So we really know it's a new one. So let's include both. So I'm gonna, where am I? Present working directory, I'm there. Okay, what is my list? This is my list, that's in here. I am big boss, sudo, remove, what? Icon theme. It has to go, it has to go, there's no option, it has to go. It will work right now, but I'd rather have a new icon theme cache. That's, that's the best procedure, right? I want to move one level up. Where am I now? I'm in icons. I'm asking, of course, sudo, gtk, and then I don't remember, just to remember gtk, tap, tap. And it's called update with a dash update icon cache. So if you remember three words, you're good to go. Press tap tap and you'll remember, ah oh, yeah, update icon cache. And now you have to say what folder, and it's happened, it start with an ZA and then tap again. And then you create your cache file. You've seen it come up here. It's now created, it's our cache file. We created it with a new information available inside index team. Maybe new icons, things you changed, you need to make or, or delete or make a new one or both, right? So that's fixed. You'll see that in here, ta -da, we have new icons. He knows now if I have a missing icon, go check Surfen. maybe there's an icon. And that was what happens. And here as well, this one is also fixed, was a yellow star or something like that. 
and you'll see that some of them have changed and they are coming from Surfen. And if Surfen doesn't have it, and then again, then Inherit's line kicks in. That's my main message in all the videos about this Inherit line. It's so powerful. If only all people would know that it's so powerful and use it. So it's quite nice. This and I can now are gonna create or, or fix uh, in one of the next Sardi releases. And then everything looks super, 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 super nice. So if you like Sapphiro, you can download it, install it and have fun with it. I think I've told, told everything and um, enjoy the new icon theme. All right, cheers.